Welcome back to the financial markets course. There is a little change to the course structure. Um, initially, I thought that the tool to use um, for analytics would be an Excel-like tool. But then uh, I thought that there is a an open source tool, which I believe is also superior um, to Excel, and that is Python. So I would like to continue the course uh, using Python as the analytics tool. So um, let's get, get us started uh, with um, installing Python. So what you're gonna do is uh, download Python um, and uh, you can click on download Python over here if you're on Windows. If you're on Linux, like myself, um, you're already got it. Um, so basically, you have a terminal, and in ter per terminal, you can um, write Python uh, 3, and uh, Python console will open up. Um, but um, what we're going to do today is we're going to use um, script. Uh, so basically, what we want to have is some sort of IDE and um, the basic ID for Python is uh, called uh, idle. So to get it up, you just type in idle and um, it pops up. Um, so so this, is, this is a uh, Python console. Um, it mm, can take all the mm, commands like assigning variables, uh, basically very similar to what you had in R. So we want to write a uh, script. So for that we want to open up a new file and it um, pops up a new window editor. Mm, so what we want to do is we want to have a valuation of a loan. So uh, how we gonna do that? We're gonna jump straight on to uh, Python classes. Uh, Python is an object-oriented programming, and uh, you can define classes within it. And um, this is what we're gonna do. Even if you're not familiar, you should get a feeling with object-oriented programming. You should already get a feeling uh, what classes are after this uh, tutorial. So basically, uh, in order to define a class, we write class. We give a class a name, uh, so in our case this will be uh, loan, and um, we define it like this. So classes have got two basic characteristics, attributes and methods. Attributes are variables that are assigned to a class, methods are functions that are assigned to a class. The most basic function that is assigned to a class is called constructor. It is a function that is being called when an object is created, when an object of a given class is created. In Python, um, we define uh, a um, constructor using um, init, like that. So this will be initializing, um, hence the name, uh, an instance of an object. So all the methods, Mm, all the functions in a given class, they um, refer to, um, in order to show that they refer to the class, we put uh, Q itself uh, as an argument. Uh, then we can put in the arguments of the function. So in our case, uh, we're going to have a simple example of a loan, uh, which will have a notional redemption uh, value. So basically what you need to pay back uh, in the end and your interest rate so mm, interest rate that you are uh, charged on by the bank um, so basically these are uh, the mm, inputs of the mm, constructor function and what the constructor function is going to do is will use those inputs and assign them to an object of this class as attributes. So basically a variables assigned to the class. 
to mark that this is um, an attribute you also use the word self dot notional and we assign notional to it then you write self uh, redemption equal to redemption and self IR equal to IR we save it uh, control s we can call it loan loan dot pi and we run it uh, we can run it through here and there is this run module or we can just use f5 the code got executed in the console so right now we have a um, class defined um, class loan defined so what we can do is we can initiate an object of this class so let's call it loan is equal to loan class so if we do that it is going to call the constructor function the the one that initiates um, the instance of the object so basically um, we have a we have to put notional redemption so notional would be 100 uh, redemption amount let's say 105 and our interest rate um, 4 percent so right now uh, an object of this class has been created so you can see that uh, this is a loan object and uh, it has got attributes uh, so you can uh, access access them uh, through uh, loan dot uh, let's say notional or IR um, so it gives you hundred so basically this is um, uh, replacing the self word in the class definition with uh, the mm, name of our uh, object with the instance of our object we can modify it um, so we can call the previous command using alt p um, we can modify the notion or say it's like a 90 and um, we can print it again um, so you can see that it's changed um, so let's put it back 200 right um, so now we got attributes of this uh, class now we want to have some methods so basically in our methods what what will be our methods um, functions that are operating on the mm, attributes of the mm, class so basically what we can have what a loan can have is let's say future value so let's define a future value fv which will be basically calculating what is the loan going to be worth in the future for the bank so as mentioned before um, when defining uh, methods we need to put a self um, a keyword and then uh, what is this function going to return it's going to return what is bank going to receive in the end so this is basically self redemption um, and what will be the cost for the bank so it's going to be what bank gave in the first place so self notional but it is going to be in the future so uh, we need to uh, think what will be the value of this notional at the end of the loan so basically if the bank invested um, this notional at an interest rate it would have um, notional times one plus um, in self um, interest rate so this is uh, going to uh, be the value of the money that the bank borrowed in the future so let's save it run it and uh, let's create an object again um, we need to do that in order to um, for the uh, for Python to understand that there is a new method and we call the method um, using loan future value and brackets 
we don't put uh, self uh, anymore so it returns one this is um, this is what we expected so basically redemption is 105 uh, minus 100 times uh, 104 so um, uh, minus 104 so this is one all right so this is a future value uh, now let us uh, define uh, what the present value of this loan is so basically how much is it worth for the bank today so we define present value um, self um, so basically it's going to return uh, so it's going uh, to be also uh, the redemption but this time you know, we need to take into account that how much is the future money worth today so we do the inverse of what we did uh, before uh, that we are multiplying by one plus uh, interest rate so here we need to divide by um, one plus interest rate and we decrease it by the cost which is notional and it's already the expressed in the money as of today so basically just we just need to decrease it by the self notional save it run it uh, create an object again loan pv got some error uh, typo here self interest rate save and run all right Yes, right. So um, what it does here, it calculated the value uh, for the bank today. So it's slightly less than uh, what it is um, in the future. Uh, it was one. Here is uh, 96 cents. Um, so basically, the money that is from the future, we need to always discount. And uh, in order to do that, uh, what we can do is define a discount factor. So we define uh, DF as a discount factor self. Uh, it's going to return the factor by which we need to multiply future amount of money to get the present value of it so basically it's going to be one over one plus uh, interest rate save it run it and let's call this loan discount factor so this is worth the same as um, so this is so, so as you can see this is the factor by which we need to multiply one in the future to get a PV. So basically the relationship is present value is equal to future value times a discount factor. Right, so uh, let's play around uh, a little bit now. So let's uh, try to see what's gonna happen if um, the risk increases, if the interest rate increases. So uh, loan, interest rate, Let's say um, the whoever took the loan is now very dangerous and probably is not going to pay. So let's say that the interest rate went up to, let's say, 10%. Um, and uh, what's going to be the um, PV of the loan? Minus four and a half. So basically the bank is now losing so if someone took a, a loan and um, at the beginning the agreement was that he had to give back he took a hundred he had to give back uh, one or five and then his credit rating if you like decreased then it means a loss for the bank because um, nor normally he would be charged 
higher interest rate on that. What happens in the opposite um, if our uh, interest rate uh, is going down to let's say one uh, percent? And let's see the PV. So this may makes a positive profit for the bank. It's almost like bank is up four um, because right now um, someone has got very low risk, but it he pays uh, high redemption uh, on this loan. We can also check what how the discount factor is um, uh, has changed. So we see that uh, right now the discount factor is uh, closer to one. So mm, uh, the higher the interest, the lower the interest rate, the higher the discount fa ha factor. Um, so uh, this is it uh, for this video. Thanks for watching, um, and I hope to see you mm, next time.